Let's talk about the film Alien Romulus. My thoughts, my opinions, spoiler free by the way. No spoilers for you here, so don't worry. Spoilers later, so be wary. So let's talk about this film, which is the latest film from Fede Alvarez, who gave us some classics like The Evil Dead 2013, which I think in my opinion is a very good film and is very much so between my favorites and like top of the Evil Dead franchise. I could honestly say it could go number one sometimes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But I do really love Fede Alvarez as a director. So before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We're on the road to 35,000 subscribers, less than 3,000 to go. We're trying to get there before the end of the month. We got a ton of videos coming. We have Fantastic Fest lineup. That video is coming tomorrow, so stay tuned. But let's talk about the film Alien Romulus. Kaylee Spaney, David Johnson, Archie Renault, Isabella Merced, Spike Fern, Alien Wu are starring in this film. And we have this produced by Ridley Scott. It got an approval from Scott and also from James Cameron, which this film is actually set between those to movies, which is Alien and Aliens. The story centered around these young space colonists who are scavenging a derelict space station and come face to face with a xenomorph. Let me tell you, first and foremost, the practical effects, set designs, everything production wise here off the charts, honestly. I was so amazed by it. They really did a great job at bringing you into this world, sort of expanding as much as they can the lore of the Alien universe in a way where it doesn't feel like people who don't know anything about Alien will be left behind but at the same time people who have followed the movies who enjoy them and all of that will definitely get a little bit of nods here and there which I've heard is a lot of thing that people don't really like is the nods and the callbacks to the other films but I'm just here saying I think Fed had to play his cards close you want to start this franchise that hasn't been consistent like let's be honest with the general public it's been years since we had an alien film and when they tried to do something different with Prometheus it kind of got a little bit in a way of people saying Prometheus is a bad movie, but it was just something different, and I still have it at the top of my list. Blasphemous? I don't know, but that's how I feel. And I think with Alien Romulus, Fede knows this. It's 20th century knows this. You have to play it close. This is The Force Awakens. This is the film that is going to reignite the flame that the franchise once was at certain parts of the past couple of decades. It's not going to be able to do its own thing because people will slam it. They know that. So I think what they do here is they give you a sort of the greatest hits. Even going as far as saying they get some greatest hits from the comic books and the video games Alien Isolation which I think is a great thing. Fede really does however give you his flair on it in that third act and it's more of this is what's to come next now that you know we're here we understand the source material this is what's all about this third act this is where we want to head into and do something different with it and I'm here for it if Fede is able to continue the story I'm sad if he's not I'm sad <laughs> but it's whatever so that's the first thing right here I think that Fede did a great job for what he needed to do with this film and that was give what Alien was was to the people who love Alien, whether they hate that or not, and at the same time, bring people in in a way that's not too isolating and too sort of right down the middle, because at the end of the day, this is a studio film. It has to bring in the people in order for them to do more. Now, all of that being said, the cast here is great. I think Kaylee Spain and David Johnson for sure are the standouts. Their relationship together here was one that really did get me moved, and I really did love David Johnson's portrayal of Andy, who is this android, and the way he's able to be different characters and I won't get into spoilers but there's like some mood changes that he goes through I really dug that part of this film seeing him just go through these instincts and these different feelings also Kelly Spaney is great here she delivers a very outstanding performance and showcases this fear but at the same time really showcases that when they need to they can lock in and get things done which I think is such a great way to show this character of Rain now the xenomorph the xenomorphs are are absolutely terrifying here. I think a lot of times people always debate whether they want their alien film to feel like a horror film like Alien or they want it to be more action like Aliens. I think that we see here that Fede tries to do both but it leans more into Alien with the horror aspect of it. And I heard a uh, little tidbit that they called this Don't Breathe in Space which is the truth because sometimes these characters are walking. Sometimes it's very quiet. By the way, my theater, I gotta applaud them. They were quiet the whole time. So 
so when these quiet moments came they felt more eerie the atmosphere is building there's smoke coming out and it is just beautifully lit and then out of nowhere boom xenomorph comes and grabs somebody and it was just some of the most terrifying things really there is a jump scare towards the third act in the finale that really got everybody in my theater it was so well done and i will say dead space fed alvarez i think we need that sometime soon honestly if you've ever played dead space you are going to love this movie 100 percent alien isolation you are going to love it i'm telling you there's something here for everybody to really love and enjoy what i see a lot of the critiques saying is that it holds its cards too close with the other films where it feels the same to that i say they needed to do that in my opinion but that's just how i feel overall i really enjoy this film i think that it does a great job at really bringing the franchise back to life and giving it that extra punch that it needed as well in that third act some of the things that i didn't enjoy as much were i think some of the characters felt a little bit under uh developed and you don't really care for them at the end of the day but you know it's kind of going to be hard to do that when you're trying to sort of at the same time highlight the monster that everybody wants to see as well so i think that was the only thing with me is that some of these characters just felt like dead weight that they were just there to become bodies right that's the only critique i do have with the film i feel like they could have rounded out these characters a little bit more and i don't know what you would sacrifice for that because there's some things in the film i wouldn't want to take away either but i feel like that's the only thing with this film is some of these characters you just don't care for and so their deaths are just to showcase the xenomorph which is not a bad thing either because i think that that's really what they want to do here is they want to showcase that the xenomorph is not the one to play with but i still think it is a beautifully lit film the cinematography is gorgeous in some of these scenes they really did a great job at showcasing this sort of futuristic but at the same time primitive like life that is this universe and i think the xenomorph's design is just beautiful all around in this film you really get to showcase it a lot and there were some very inspired shots especially one with zero gravity and like alien acid and things like that you just got to see it it is so great and i'm telling you david johnson kaylee spaney they are about to become megastars for sure so very excited to see where feta takes it next if he's able to get a chance at directing the next film if they continue i think it's supposed to open at 75 million plus that sounds like to me like we're gonna get something more out of this franchise the audience last night sounded like they're ready for more as well so we'll see what happens let me know what you thought about alien romulus i enjoyed it a lot i'm pretty much gonna say i Give it a five stars, honestly. I really liked it. I'm going to watch it again this weekend. Let's see if I change my mind or not on it. But I do have my alien ranking on Letterboxd if you want to follow me there. Also follow us on www.culturelixer.com. That is our website as well at It's Culture Elixir is our Instagram. I'll see all of you next time. 35,000 subscribers. Spoiler talk tonight. Stay tuned. I'll see you later. Stay safe. Stay positive.